Hey guys, this is a video in my graphing calculator tutorial series and in this video I'm going to go over how to graph the, uh, the equation of a circle on your TI-84 plus CE. Uh, a quick refresher, the equation of a circle is of the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared where r is the radius of the circle and h tells the value of h tells you which way you're shifting it along the x-axis and the value of k tells you which way you're shifting it along the along the y-axis now notice that these minus signs are part of the form so that means if your h is positive or if you're moving to the right your equation is going to look of the form uh, for instance x minus 2 squared that means you're moving two units to the right from the origin along the x-axis and here also there's a minus sign so we have y minus 2 that means you're moving two units up from the origin so this circle is moved two units to the right the center of the circle is moved two units to the right and two units up and the radius is 5 so if we were to graph this on our TI-84 plus CE, it would look something like this. So first, press the apps button right here, and then select a conics. You can either arrow down until you go to conics and then press enter, or you can just press number four on the uh, keypad, and that will select the conics option. And then let's select circle so just press enter and now uh, we want to type it in this form so we're just going to press enter and notice it has the form that I showed earlier x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and now we're just going to input values of h, k and r so the value of h is positive 2, the value of k is positive 2, and the value of r is just 5. Press enter after each one, and then uh, press graph, and there we have our circle. Notice that the center is shifted from the origin 2 units to the right and 2 units up, and the radius is 5 units. And that's how you graph a circle on the TI-84 plus CE. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or any other comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Follow my channel on Facebook. And until next time, take care, guys.